Buddy, welcome back. This video is specifically about rhodium and I got inspired to make this video um, from a request from somebody who asked me a little bit. I think his name is Dor69. It's D-O-R-S-C-H 69. Pronunciation was probably off, but I had to at least say his name to spell it to let him know. He asked me a question to look at Kitco's for the 10-year chart of rhodium and what do I think of it? Well, I did the whole chart from when it started all the way back from 71, like I did from the first video of which metals came out to be the best, and that's how I came out with that video, by seeing rhodium prices, which my eyes just popped through my sockets when I saw how high it went and how low it went in the same month, or excuse me, the same year. So, thanks to him, I'm going to do a little video on a metal that people very seldom talk about, and this is about... Is rhodium dead? Is resurrection ready for it? Can it come back from the dead? It's the question. So, from 2004 to 2008, it peaked. From 2004, it started at $453, and then it climbed all the way up to $9,753, excuse me, $45. That's one hell of a jump in a few years, period. And that's a big transfer of wealth as well. But you never hear anybody talking about that one at all. So I got the last year of 2008, the year that it peaked. And once I saw the prices of every month and how it jumped up and down, it's truly amazing. You think silver is bad? You haven't seen anything yet until you hear this. I'm telling you, silver is a baby cake. It's a walk in the park to handle that type of crash as compared to this. Okay, starting off with January of 2008. In January, it was 6,900. But by the way, I've just made all these numbers evened out. It was like 6,943, something like that. I took all those numbers out and just rounded it out to an even 100 number. The lowest 100 number, so I didn't go higher. I went lower, actually. January was 6,900. February was 8,400. Nice little jump. March, 9,100. All right, not bad. April, 9,000. May, 9,400. June, 9,745. That was its biggest peak. July, 9,300. August, 62. Damn, it's a nice chunk of change right out. It's 3,100 right there in one month. Don't worry, it gets even better. September, 4,500. Kaboom. October 2400. Damn, boom. Better get out now, quick. Harry, you better have been out before. November 1100. Too late now. You're stuck with the metal. December 1000. So it went from 6900 to start the year all the way down to $1,000 to end the year. That is insane. That is incredible. Jump in thousands of dollars, either up or down, per month. That is insane. Imagine watching that stuff and like, like Kiko live stats by the hour. You're watching your rhodium going up a hundred dollars per second, probably. You know, and then down. It's, that is incredible. I mean, that is insane and uh, remarkable metal for that price. Is that's insane. So now, is it dead? Is it going to come back from the dead? From what I understand, I only did one little quick website search on it, so I didn't do too much on there. So if anybody has a lot more information on it, feel free to add your comments, because I'm sure you're going to know, somebody here is going to know a lot more about it than I did. I just did a quick video, or a quick search on there to make a quick video on it. But supposedly, rhodium comes from platinum as a byproduct, if I'm correct, if I read that properly. So... I guess if you own some platinum, you have a little rhodium in there as well. But anyway, I just wanted to know if it's really dead or not, because it peaked because uh, it was used for caddy converters, good conductor for that and everything else, which now platinum and palladium took that field over, probably because it got too expensive. And I also read in a website why it crashed so hard, because that's when the recession started in 2008 and people just weren't buying cars. And that price has plummeted down to practically nothing because there was no demand for it. So, 
is it there ever going to be a demand again for rhodium to get it back up a few thousand dollars an ounce? It's about a one to one ratio of gold right now. Is that the most undervalued metal? Not silver? Or is silver still the most undervalued metal out of them all? And not rhodium? Because rhodium's dead. Silver has is the best metal in the world for demand wise it's in everything it's not just an investment metal it's number one for industrial use for everything not just electronics but medical use energy use silver is the number one <coughs> excuse me so is rhodium gonna creep back up and wake us all up is it worth to buy one ounce of rhodium today as a gamble for $1,200 instead of buying a one ounce gold coin, which gold is about $130, $50, about $150 more than rhodium right now if you wish to buy it. I don't know. I think I'll probably end up sticking with the gold coin, but yeah, I don't know. Couldn't hurt just to buy one. What happens if it does go up to seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000 in another year? What do we know? Maybe it's the best metal to own. It's in front of our faces. And nobody's even sleeping. Everybody's sleeping on it. Because it's a dead metal now. There is no demand. And another thing about it, when it peaked in June of 9700, who was buying it? Kick was the only person that I know that's selling it. Atmax doesn't sell it. So they're not going to be buying it. None of these other purchased metal dealers I see even sell it. So who's going to buy it? Are you going to be stuck with the most rarest metal in the world? The most valuable metal in the world? And you can't get anything for it because nobody wants it anywhere near its price. A $9,700 value, one ounce metal. So I'm going to say, oh, I'll give you about two grand for it, four or five thousand, you know, in a coin shop or something. Who's going to pay those prices? Did, did anybody buy those prices? is the best way in rhodium is just to buy on a stock market exchange. You can cash it in on paper. You're not buying the real metal, you're buying it at the paper. There may not even be a stock price for rhodium on the market. Don't know anything about the stocks. If anybody's in the stocks and you know a Pacific site or what like SLV is silver, what is rhodium? Does rhodium have a stock where you could buy it straight up just that? Because that will probably be the best bet because if it does go back to $9,000, you can cash in a stock for the nine grand without anybody complaining, right? It's not the actual real metal, so there's going to be a demand for the stock if you can sell it. You, people can't turn down a stock, could they? I don't know. I'm not a stock person. But it sounds like to me it's all legit and uh, legal that whatever the price is, you can get your money for it, and that's just the end of it. Unless there's nobody that wants to buy it, I don't know. So... Please add your comments, and uh, I'm very interested to hear about what you guys have to say about rhodium. Is it going to come back to the dead and be the number one metal to own for the price range of getting a couple thousand dollars per ounce? Imagine that, buying it now for 1200 and waking up the next day and it's three, four, five thousand. 5000 That's what happened. Imagine that. Waking up the next day and you got three thousand dollars underneath your bed, like holy shit, pretty damn good, you know. So, gotta end this now. Getting a little too long on this subject, but please add your comments. And I'm looking forward to getting a little conversation going about this rhodium metal and what you guys think about it. Is it a sleeper or is it a debtor? Thank you.